Okay, so today's video, I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup look, and this is kind of like my makeup look for currently. So, currently, for the current moment in time that I've been doing recently, and it's basically using pretty much the same products as I usually use, but I am. Um, got a different eyeshadow look so the palette i'm using today is the soap x revolution extra spice palette which looks like this it's only 10 pounds from Superdrug. literally so worth the money it's one of my favorites um my face isn't looking the greatest today i accidentally did this this morning with my finger like oh I literally just did that again but we're gonna make a start and we've got the christmas tree up yay we've got a white christmas tree this year um which i personally think looks so much better it literally brightens the room rather than makes the room look dark and i really really like it so let me know what you think in the comments about this tree but i personally really like it and sadly pug rudolph could not fit in the background but here he is making a little feature so there we go we'll just pop him over here so he can watch live i'm gonna start off by using this dermavio aloe vera gel which basically i think i got this from poundland oh and it's literally just a gel and I use this as a primer on my skin because it has glycerin in it which means it's very very tacky it does make my face a little bit red oh my god what the juice so it only looks oh my god what the heck is going on I swear to god my face is not like this in real life the camera it look what it do you know what it's doing I'm wearing white the tree's wearing white so it's compensating making my face look very much red but don't worry it isn't that red the foundation that i use is the maybelline 24 hour superstay foundation and this is literally the best foundation i've ever used and i take a little pump of that just on my hand like that and then i like to mix that with a lightning drop because i have got a shade that's a little bit too dark for me i always get foundations that are too dark for me just because i do have these lightning drops and you can just customize the shade to whatever you like so just pop a little drop like that and then kind of let it sit on my hand for a bit and then mix it round i haven't filmed in quite a while and my upload schedule has been quite bad but i'm filming a couple of videos with my mom and my brother this afternoon so they should go up pretty soon um if not they're already up i don't know but I've just been so busy with uni work. I do have uni um, in about an hour and a half. I have one lecture today. I've only got two lectures left to this week um, because I've got an accounting assignment to hand in. I do accountancy and finance, if you didn't already know. I am gonna do a video um, just sort of between Christmas and New Year where I discuss how semester one of my uni has gone because obviously I've pretty much finished it. Just got an assignment to hand in, which is massive. Massive assignment. But we're making our way through. So I'm just gonna buff this in with a buffer brush. I'll come a little bit closer. I always like to take these palettes with me whenever I go to places. I always take them to my boyfriend's Tom's. My boyfriend's Tom's? My boyfriend Tom's because um, I stay at his flat quite a lot and it's got a really good mirror on it so I like to take this palette with me um, purely for that reason. Hence why I've been using this palette every day which is why this is my everyday look. By the way most people don't wear as much makeup as me. Most people either wear no makeup or a tiny bit of foundation and mascara or you know you know they just don't go all out every day whereas i think if i'm gonna put makeup on i'll go all out whereas if you know like yesterday i didn't wear any makeup so i can do either i can go out without makeup on it's not because i think that i can't you know look good without makeup i i don't you know to me i feel more confident without makeup than with makeup which is very odd oh my dad started hoovering lovely that is it for foundation and concealer i've literally just got this concealer which is the big cover liquid concealer from i think it's from born pretty or beauty big bang i think it's from beauty big bang i was sent this to do in a video but i can't remember which brand sent me it um but yeah i have got but yeah i did a video for them and i'm just going to take a little bit of that on the back of my hand it is very very high coverage and it is a little bit too pale for me but because the foundation is a little bit dark as you can see um that's okay because this can lighten that up so I do under my eyes, around my nose, cupid's bow, 
down the nose, chin, and then forehead. So all the areas of your face where you would want to brighten. And then I'm going to grab my buffer brush again and I'm just going to buff that in. So it does make a massive difference, when, especially on the under eye. I haven't done many Christmas videos on my channel this year. I usually do a few, like my Christmas wish list and stuff like that. But this year I haven't really had time to film in all, so I just haven't been in the vibe. I've done a Christmas vlog, and I'll probably do a couple more vlogs. But my videos won't really be Christmas themed. They'll just be, you know, my normal videos. I think what I'll do is, you know, uh, what I got for Christmas, because that's always my most favourite video to film, because you just get to go through all your Christmas stuff. And knowing me, I'll probably film that on Christmas Day and upload it, I don't know, the next day or so. Um, but yeah, I will vlog Christmas Eve, because we have a specific routine on Christmas Eve. By the way, I'm using this makeup gallery, um, which is from Poundland Powder, because it's my favourite. It's only a pound. By the way, when I powder, I literally just buff it on. You do not swipe, because then you move around any kind of foundation or concealer that you've put on. You buff it in, so it literally packs in the foundation and sets it in place. And, you know, yeah. I have been doing my makeup for many, many, many years. Every single day, pretty much, because I just love doing my makeup. Um, so I do sort of know a few tips and tricks here and there. Okay, I'm now going to add some bronzer. I've literally had this bronzer for like ages, like a couple of years at least, or more maybe. I've got this MUA bronzer here, which is the Bronze Perfection. Sunset Tan is the shade, and it's matte. And I, I think bronzers are quite nice when they're matte. And I'm just taking this brush here. It's not the most pigmented, so you have to kind of get quite a lot on your brush. But I do quite like a bit of bronzer. It just adds a little bit more definition into the old face. By the way, I do not wear makeup. I do my makeup most days because I so love doing my makeup. Like, I literally, so, it's, it's my hobby. I enjoy doing my makeup. I enjoy trying out different shades. If you know me, you know that I tend to you know, experiment with loads of different eyeshadow colours and that's purely because I love doing it. It's not because I think, oh yeah, this looks really good um, and natural or whatever because people say, oh, wear makeup to enhance yourself rather than to mask yourself. I literally do it as an artistic form because I just love the art of makeup rather than, you know, I need to wear it sort of thing because I can go without makeup if I can't be bothered to do my makeup, which is literally never apart from yesterday. Um... But yes, as you can see the difference that that makes. Also, on camera, things do look a slight bit different to they do in real life in terms of pigmentation of products. So if you're thinking, oh, that's a lot, or, you know, oh, that, that's not much, then um, it's because it comes across a little bit different. I'm now going to use my favourite blusher, which I've mentioned in so many favourites videos in the past. I've had for a few years now, and it's this one. It's um, in the shade... Peach Haze 106. I don't know what the brand is because it never said when I bought it. It was from Amazon. It was literally £1.50. It's my most favourite blusher. I really like blushes where they're like peachy shade. It's like a peachy pink rather than like pure pink. It just, I don't know, like it kind of is bronzy. Like as you can see, it kind of looks like a kind of bronzy blush which just blends so nicely into the bronzer and I just absolutely love it. Like I've never stopped loving this and it's always been my favourite and I'm going to be so sad when it goes because I've not managed to find anything that matches to this. I'm using the Glow Commotion Shimmer Highlighter from W7 and it's like a goldeny colour one. I really, really like this one and I'm taking a fair bit of that and I'm just going to pop that up my cheekbone. As you can see, it's very, very highlighty. What I love about highlights is that you don't really see them until you catch the light and then you see them. So it's not something that, you know, is prominent on your face 24-7 unless you've got the wrong shade of highlighter. But as soon as you catch the light, you can see it, which I really like. Okay, so highlighter. Wow, that is glowy. Bingo, bongo, bango. Okay, I forgot to do my nose and everything. Down the nose, tip of the nose. 
Cupid's bow. Okay, and then what I do is I just take my powder brush that I use for powder and I literally just blend this in together because I just think that, you know, you've put all these shades on, they do need to sort of blend a bit more seamlessly. This is what the base of my makeup looks like and now I'm going to go on to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to take this Beauty Big Bang eyebrow pencil and I literally just use the spoolie, which is this bit here and it's just like a brush. I could do with another one. I think I put one of these on my Christmas list. Um, or I think I'll you know, I'm getting one of these for Christmas. Um, so I'm just gonna brush through my eyebrows. I'm gonna use this, which was also sent to me, um, from Born Pretty, which is this like brow gel thing. Sadly, the pump doesn't work. Um, so I have to kind of dig it out of here, which is so annoying. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm just gonna pop this in here and just yep oh god and like place that on the back of my hand literally i hate using this i want to get something else then i literally just carve up my eyebrows so i'll just do a like a quick kind of sped up clip of me doing my brows I then, I've done that now, and this one came out a little bit weird, but, oh, focus, but it's not too bad. I now take this brush, oh, I'm not done, by the way, just in case you panicked there. Um, and then I actually take this palette here, the uh, one I mentioned at the beginning, the Soph palette by Revolution, and I take the shade Brownie, Brownies, which is here, and I literally just dab a little bit of that, and I just kind of fill in the inner part, and it just makes it a little bit more, it's a little bit of a lighter shade, and it just makes it a little bit more softer, so it's slightly more ombre and it just makes the brow look a little bit more not so you know a little bit more natural than if you used that other product i know my eyebrows don't look natural i get a lot of hate on my eyebrows not on youtube on musically but um which is now called tiktok by the way if you didn't know um but yeah i don't care i don't do my eyebrows to make them look natural i do them how I do them, I don't know, like, I just do my eyebrows, do you know what I mean, like, I'm not saying these look like, like, you know, this is how they are, I just do my eyebrows, so, you know, get over yourself. Right, I've got to go for uni in one hour. Right, I've done my eyebrows, exciton. So, I like them how they look now, but as soon as I go and pull a face, which is basically all day long, they look a bit odd, but anyway, never mind. I'm now going to add some eyeshadow, just casually add some eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to use this brush here, which is kind of broken. But, you know, we can use leave the end. I only need the fluffy part. Um, and I'm going to take the shade Cookie Dough, which is this one just here, and I'm going to pop that in the crease of my eye. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that, and that is acting as my transition shade. Make sure when you're doing your eyeshadow, you really are blending well. Like, you thoroughly blend um, every single shade and then everything will just blend together really really nicely some days I'll just leave my eye look like this just very very simple but the eye look that I've been going for very recently is where I take the shade chocolate brown which is this one just here chocolate brown chocolate orange sorry chocolate orange I, I don't know why I said chocolate brown um I take a bit of that on my brush and then I just kind of pack that on be careful because it does offer a little bit of fallout okay so I've packed that on very very pigmented very very strong I know quite a lot of people would not wear an eyeshadow like look like this on an everyday basis but I just do like you know, I, I'm comfortable like this. Some people aren't comfortable going out with, you know, bold eye looks. But to me, I just like it. Yeah, like I can go out without um, doing all this. But I just love it. Just love doing it. It's quite autumnal, this look. It is very autumnal. Okay, so that is the you know main color done there's a tiny bit of fallout but we'll brush that away in a second i'm now going to get that back i'm now going to deepen this up slightly in the crease and i'm going to use the shade oh my god i'm going to use the shade cheesecake so i'm literally just going to take a bit of that and i'm going to take this on the outer corner so like halfway to the outer corner 
like this and then kind of in the crease and then kind of bring that through by the way this is a completely matte eyeshadow look so it's no shimmer at all which I quite like and um, then to deepen up the outer corner I'm going to take the shade brownies which we used for our eyebrows and I'm just going to really kind of focus that on the outer corner just to really kind of add that definition now I will either leave the look like this for the eyeshadow and not do the bottom lash line or I will do the bottom lash line and I think it's quite a lot to have on the top and not on the bottom if I'm honest or is it and now I'm going to go and do it on the bottom as well so I'm going to reattach this and I'm going to apply some on the bottom so I'm literally just going to take the shade chocolate orange and mix it with cheesecake and then put that on my lower lash line Just like that. Wow, this looks bold. Um, I am going to blend it out, don't worry. I'm going to take my blending brush. It's always very important to make sure that you do blend out your eyeshadows. It just makes it a little bit more seamless. And I especially blend it out on the lower lash line. Because that's where it's needed. Hello. Oh. Dad's entered the room. What are you doing, Dad? I'm going in the dining room, having a drink. How oh. civilised. Hello. Welcome to my humble abode. Mm. Blendy, blendy, blendy. And then for a tiny bit of highlighter, I'm using the shade every day. Just pop a little bit of that on the inner corner. Just a tiny bit of that. And this side, just like that. And I might just blend that in a little bit. Because I don't like too much inner corner highlight. Right, I'm not going to do eyeliner or anything like that, not today. I'm just going to look and see how it's going. Yep, that's fine, I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to go in with mascara. And the mascara I use is literally one I picked up from Poundland. And I actually really, really like it. And I just do the top lashes. Sometimes I do the bottom lashes, but very rarely. I like to just focus it on the top lashes. So I kind of pop a bit on. I do have a bit of a mascara routine. I pop some on. And then I go in the roots. And then you kind of shimmy the brush through the lashes. So that is my eyeshadow finish. That's what it looks like. Very, very smoky, but I'm quite happy with a smoky eye look. I'm now going to do my lipstick and I'm literally going to take two products today. These two here. I use this one from Makeup Geek as a lip liner with this lip liner brush that I have. And this is a Makeup Geek lipstick in the shade Candide. And as you can see, it looks very disorientated. The lipstick does because I literally just use it for eye, um, lip liner. So I take a bit of that on my brush and I line my lips. Okay, it's not the most even, but I am just going to apply some lipstick. I'm going to apply this one here, which is from, it was sent to me from Beauty Big Bang. This is my absolute favourite lipstick, really, I have to say, because I just use it every day. I mentioned it in my October favourites. So I put that on my lips, and I know it looks a bit kind of patchy, and then get my finger and rub it in then that's the lipstick done and I'm going to finish off the look by applying some fixing spray and this is the setting spray from the collection primed and ready setting spray this is a matte one absolutely love it my favorite and people say oh do they actually work I don't know if primers work but setting sprays certainly do um, 
it makes your makeup look so much less, I don't know, just a lot less um, powdery. Blends everything in together and gives a really, really, really nice finish. And I just kind of pat that down just to make sure that there's no dots or anything from where I sprayed. This is the finished makeup look. This is kind of my like everyday makeup look because like I said, I tend to go quite full on with my makeup and I really, really like it. It's quite autumnal. Um, but I've certain, I, you know, I don't do it every day obviously, but this is kind of like my favorite makeup look. Um, I do go a lot simpler than this some days and some days I don't wear makeup at all, but this is what I have liked been doing. So yeah, I'm gonna take my ears off and put my hair down so yeah this is what it looks like so this is the final result thanks for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more makeup videos from me because i have so many different kind of makeup look ideas and make sure you subscribe for more videos thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye